Ah, gear knobs. One of the best things about a manual car is being able to easily change gear knobs. And I've been super impressed with how good and ridiculously cheap the gear knobs from China have been. I went a bit crazy and ordered a few for variety and also to see what I liked. So I thought I'd do a bit of a review on them. All the links to purchase the gear knobs will be in the video description below. The gear knobs are all also universally sized with adapters for different tread sizes so they can be used on any car. I also have a Z1 shift knob finisher that works well with my Alcantara gear boot. First up is a supposedly titanium alloy ball type shifter. It costs 29 ringgit and weighs 117.6 grams. I say supposedly because I'm not sure that it's even titanium but I like the shape of this the most and being the shortest shift knob here, it gives the gearbox the shortest throw as well. It feels very satisfying to shift and is nicely weighted. Unfortunately, the layer of burnt finish, which is more like a film, is already starting to scratch off so it's looking a bit worn even though it's practically new. I might sand the finish off one day and I think that might look great. I give it a 7 out of 10. Next up is a gear knob with adjustable length. It costs 18 ringgit and weighs 130.3 grams. It's available in different colors for the top piece and can be adjusted to be longer or shorter. The bottom piece has a bit of a collar, so you don't need the finisher that I'm using here. It looks and feels pretty good, but <laughs> there's nothing really special about it, so it's quite average. Works very well though, especially for the price. I give this a 6 out of 10. The next gear knob, I guess is as per the old Honda Type R's and so will be a familiar shape. It costs 14 ringgit and weighs 136.2 grams. No complaints really, it feels great and the height is pretty standard. It's also got that classic look and can be had in different colours too. I give this a 6 out of 10 too. And finally, the gear knob that came with the car when I bought it. It's a Razo replica. It costs about 19 ringgit and weighs 152.3 grams, so it's the heaviest and longest gear knob here. I'm honestly really not a fan of the looks of this gear knob, and also not a fan of how it feels because of how tall it is. As such, it's my least favorite gear knob here, and I give this a 5 out of 10. So in conclusion, there are so many different types out there for around the same price. Just check Lazada, Shopee or AliExpress and you will be blown away by how many choices there are. They all work and they feel pretty high quality though we've seen some with some sloppy workmanship too, especially in the edge numbers. I think you can be pretty happy with them and also have a few so that you can switch them out whenever you feel like it. However, for me personally, this was great to figure out what I liked but I know that I still want something special so I will be ordering something <coughs> top secret real soon. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments and also which is your favorite among all of these. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.